the Pontifical Academy of Sciences at the Vatican organize a summit on an issue Pope Francis has specifically asked to combat human trafficking and organized crime. Female judges and prosecutors from around the world shared their experiences and learned best practices to help fight this crime. Chief Judge Anna Blackburn Rigsby from the D.C. Court of Appeals also participated to share the seriousness of the issue facing the country's capital. In Washington, D.C. alone, sex trafficking is worth $100 million. As the fastest growing organized crime in the United States, the statistics are shocking as nearly 300,000 American children are at risk of becoming child sex trafficking victims. Chief Judge Anna Blackburn Rigsby, who graduated from Jamaica High School in Queens and served as a former judge on the New York Supreme Court, says these statistics continue across the country. Actually, all forms of human trafficking are more prevalent in the United States than I think most people realize. I would say um, the statistics are that labor trafficking of all forms is actually the most prevalent. Um, restaurants, nail salons, um, in, in urban areas and in rural areas, agricultural uh, labor trafficking. What we see in, in Washington, D.C. is sex trafficking, and it primarily involves minors, uh, teenagers, runaways, and, and oftentimes younger children. Um, and I think those statistics bear out uh, across the United States in different areas. She said the best way to eradicate this crime is to educate the public and federal officials so both can learn to recognize victims. For herself, she says she's even witnessed them in court. It's important for the court systems to recognize trafficking cases because oftentimes they don't come in labeled as a trafficking case. It may be a, a child neglect case, it may be a prostitution case, or it may be a domestic violence case where if you look more closely at the circumstances, they reveal that the victim is actually a victim of human trafficking. By collaborating with her fellow colleagues at the Vatican, she's also learning what has worked in other countries around the world and which types of trafficking are most predominant. It's a very powerful conference when you learn that uh, there are similarities in what each of the countries and jurisdictions are facing, but also many differences, um, often differences in resources and the ability to combat this issue. But when you bring people together like this, I think you can share best practices and learn important information. She, as well as the other participants at the Vatican, are hoping to assist the 24.9 million victims who are trapped in this form of slavery. With these numbers and dangers in mind, the chief judge is using her power to help fight this crime. She not only is working to bring justice to the criminals, but also to help the countless victims who are trafficked throughout the East Coast. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Currents News.